Hey, Madonna. Really great meeting you. Um, new album coming up, of course. And I noticed there's 13 tracks on it. First single's coming out on um, February 13th, Frozen. Uh -huh. The 13th. It's a lucky number. It's a lucky number. Yeah. Well, for me, it's an unlucky number. Why? Well, 13, you always had bad luck. Friday the 13th. But people have got it all wrong. It's a lucky number. Is that just personal for you, out of experience, or you think... Well, I... Uh, first of all, it's all like, it's just a matter of putting your, you know, getting your head... I mean, everyone thinks that 3 and 7 and 13 are unlucky numbers, but if you just change your way of looking at it... First of all, any number can be lucky, but I think 13 is a particularly magical, mystical number. And, um, for instance, why do boys get bar mitzvahed when they're 13? There's a lot of sort of um, um, the kind of uh, philosophical or mystical thinking on that is that that's the age that a child's soul comes into their body. So it's actually a very lucky age. And then there's 12 signs in the zodiac. So if you go one number above that, then you're basically transcending the limitations of the zodiac. Because every sign has limitations, mm -hmm. right? Bad things, good things, whatever. So 13 is actually a lucky number. Okay, so you did think about it when you put 13 tracks on? Oh, yeah. Okay. And there's also uh, a song for your daughter on there. Um, I'm not a mother, so I don't know, but it seems very hard to write a song for your daughter because you know when she grows up, she'll hear about it, she'll hear it. Like, I want her to hear it. Isn't it like, because it's a very simple song, it's so fine, it's so... But it wasn't hard at all. It, all I had to do was think about her and it came out. But isn't it like when you think about your daughter, all these thoughts come up? Like, how do you put it in one song? I think it's incredible when I heard it. It's so basic. Yeah. I don't know. I just was true to my feelings. I just let it, the feelings flow out of me, and that's what happened. I think I really noticed that on the whole of the album, mm -hmm. that your feelings are in there. I think it's also in the other albums. Mm -hmm. But um, maybe this is wrong to say, but it seems like you're in ease with yourself. Is that true? I'm definitely becoming... Um, more comfortable with me, being me with who I am, definitely. Shedding the layers, getting closer to what I think is the real me, for sure. Billy Garbo and Monroe, Dietrich and DiMaggio, Marlon Brando, Jimmy Dean, on the cover of a magazine, Grace Kelly, Harlow Jean, picture of a beauty queen, Jean Kelly, Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers, dance on air, they had style, they had grace. Rita Hayworth gave good faith. Lauren Kaplan, Manitou. Betty Davis, we love you. Ladies with an attitude. Fellas that were in the mood. Don't just stand there, let's get to it. Strike the pose, there's nothing to it. Bow, bow, bow. Everything that's happened to me in my life leading up to this moment, which includes my daughter, which was a huge thing for me. But, yeah, I mean, all of my life has influenced me. That's been a big life. <laughs> Isn't it sometimes scary when you look back on it? Do you think, oh, it's so massive? Yeah, I'd say the truth, I don't look back on it too much. I think, you know, I mean, I just sort of keep looking forward and going in that direction. Um, but every once in a while I do, and I just go, wow. I mean, I think about things I did five years ago, and I just think, that was another lifetime. Who is that? Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. How, how long did you um, take to make this album? Like, how far back did you start on it? I started writing, I'd say, last March. I spent all of the spring and most of the summer writing, started recording at the end of the summer, and finished recording, I guess, God, almost like around Thanksgiving, like November. Yeah. And what's this, um, every album you make is different. Every time you come out with a different look, with a diff different image. So it's hard to say this is a totally different album. But I felt it a little bit like that. Um, was it very different to work on as well? Is it more... Did you want to shock people with it? Or no? No, no not at all. No. It's just the feeling that you have for the music right now. Because mm -hmm. it's like drum and bass. Mm -hmm. And a little bit um, like the prodigy sound in it. Mm -hmm. We never heard that with you before. Mm. Well, I've been listening to a lot of it. It's definitely influenced me. Yeah. I mean, William Morbid had a lot to do with that too. Because that's, stuff, that's the kind of music he makes.
Obviously, I want people to hear my record. If only two people buy it, that means yeah, that you yeah. know not many people are hearing it. But I mean, uh, I can imagine I can tell you that while I'm writing it, I'm not like sitting there going, "Oh my God, I hope I sell 12 million albums." I mean, that doesn't really you know help with the creative process. Um, I mean, first it's all about being creative and being true, and then later on you start thinking about whether people are going to like it or not. you're explaining to the people what you've been going through is that little, not last album is that a little bit what you're doing explaining to the people what you've been going through in the past no, I'm like explaining it to myself to yourself really. totally <laughs> yeah yeah I'm like thinking out loud thinking out loud studying the Kabbalah which is a, a, a mystical interpretation of the Torah the Old Testament but uh, I mean I haven't converted to Judaism or anything. No, but it's hard for me to say in English as well, too. You never switch to religion, I hope. But um, it's a different view on life for you. Yeah, but I mean, I've been practicing yoga and studying Buddhism and Hinduism and, you know, Ayurvedic healing and, I mean, so lots of things have influenced me and I'm interested in all religions. But I haven't, like, joined a new religion. <laughs> Take a number and go, okay. Exactly. <laughs> I like, I want this God. <laughs> I should be nice. Um, is that very, um, is that more easy? Because I can imagine when you just started out, like, boom, there's Madonna, everything comes over. Um, you did a lot of controversial things. I say, I'm a little bit more at ease. Can I say that you're um, going back to being a normal person? Like, you were a normal person before, but like, um, how do you say that? Not being the superstar anymore, just a person for yourself, like, from inside. Um, I don't know. I mean, uh, as far as this record is concerned, I'm not trying to be anything but myself. But if you asked me five years ago what I was doing, I probably would have told you that I was trying to be myself. So, I mean, I've changed a lot and grown a lot since the last record. And hopefully what I've written about and the music that I've written is a reflection of where I am right now. And if that seems more normal, I mean, you know, some people will come in here and say, you know, my album's really twisted and weird and freaky, so I don't know. <laughs> I guess it depends on, you know, who who you are Listen and what you it. like, yeah. And are you going to go on tour? Um, probably, yeah. Probably. Mm -hmm. The whole way? <laughs> the whole way? What's like the whole Europe way? Europe as well, or just an American tour? You don't no, 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 I'll do, I'll go to Europe too, definitely. Because that must be very... I'm doing a very small tour in Ireland, Cuba, and India. <laughs> it's possible that you just said I'm going to do an American tour or something. Nah. I'm going to do the whole bunch with it. Well, not the whole world, but I'll definitely travel around. You um, also made movies? Are you going to do other movies again? or? 
Yes, I'm going to do a movie in, in the summer, a small movie called The Red Door, which is really sad and true and beautiful. And, um, and then I'm going to go on tour, and then after that I'm going to do a, a musical called Chicago. A musical again? Mm-hmm. Oh, wonderful. You do so many things, it's like amazing. Like, mm -hmm. How do you put your head to it? Because an actress... In I don't even know where my head is right now. <laughs> Okay. You're fine. No, but um, like you're a singer, you're an actress. Now you're doing musicals again. Um, maybe this one. So, what do you like to do best? Sleep. Sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Lay in my bed and watch movies. I play with my daughter. Normal things. Normal things. Yeah. But when you look at making movies or singing, oh, what do I like? I like them both. I mean, it depends on the project. I would hate it if I could only make music, and I would hate it if I could only make movies. I love doing both. And directing? Do you have plans on directing movies? Um, I'd like to, yeah. I mean, I've got some ideas and some things that I want to do, but that's not for a while, off in the future. You should know I suffer the same if I lose you. My heart will be broken. Love is a bird, she needs to fly Let all the hurt inside of you die You're frozen when your heart's not open I'm really looking forward to the tour. I wonder what you're going to throw on stage there. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> well, good luck with it anyway, and thank, thank you. you very much for talking.